Yo, what's going on, ladies and gents? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another Black Ops 4 video. Today, I wanted to share with you guys a few tips and tricks that I think will benefit a lot of you when it comes to becoming a better player in the game. Uh, the game is still fairly new. A lot of people are still learning the maps, the spawn points, the guns, everything uh, in its entirety. But um, I wanted to share with you guys some things, a few things that a lot of people don't really pay attention to that I think will make a lot of you much better players much quicker. And uh, and hopefully by the end of this video, you will have learned something and, uh, and hopefully I, ha I'll, I will have been able to help. So <laughs> the first thing that I want to talk to you guys about is playing by yourself and relying only on yourself. Playing solo is something that has always helped to make me a better player and I'm sure has helped a lot of you as well. It's something that can get very, very annoying over time when you're only relying on yourself to do good. Um, but when you're playing with an entire team, chances are you're probably going to win a lot of games. I, I'd like to use myself for an example. When I first started playing Black Ops 4, I played with an entire squad. Uh, and the first two days that I played, um, I played with that squad. And I won my first 35 games. So I was 35 and 0 by the time I was like level 27. So uh, that's a pretty good example of how playing with teammates and it can get you wins every single game. The difference is, is I wasn't really getting much better, right? I was having all these other guys that are very good that were not only just carrying me, but but just that we're doing good as well. When you're playing on a team that's really, really good, you can really just step take you can take a step back because you don't have to rely on just yourself to do good to get that win. However, when you're playing by yourself, especially playing game modes uh, like domination or hardpoint objective-based game modes, it makes it very, very difficult to do well. Uh, when you're playing just by yourself, you know, if you're the only person playing the objective, if you're the only person trying to capture flags and domination, although it can be very, very annoying, you're dependent on yourself, right? Like you're, you're the only one trying to cap the flag. So you're going to get better um, trying to take out enemies and cap the flag at the same time, instead of having three other guys that are going to kill people while you just have to jump on the flag. So uh, playing solo is something that's going to make you a better player. Like I said, I know it's irritating. I know it's going to piss you off a lot, but play some game, play some objective based game modes by yourself and and, uh, and you'll start to see yourself improve. The second tip that I have for you guys is to watch YouTube videos of good players. And, and I don't just mean uh, people like me who like making videos to just to give advice and stuff and give tips. I mean watching some of these professional players. Like watch some of those optic guys, those phase guys, those dudes that are in actual competitive. The people that make money going hard at Call of Duty. Watch their gameplays. But don't just listen to what they're saying. Watch the moves that they make. Watch how they play each map. Watch how they use each gun. Watch how they uh, approach each gunfight. Because those guys do this professionally. Professionally. They play all the time. They know what they're doing. And, uh, and I understand that audio registers before video. So most of the time when you're watching a video, you can kind of get sidetracked. And as long as you're listening, you feel like you're paying attention. But don't even pay attention to the audio. Just watch what they're doing. Watch how they're playing. And I'm telling you, this is something that's going to make you so much better. Even though you're not doing it yourself, watching these guys play the maps and watching, watching the routes that they run and the weapons they use and the way they maneuver around when they get in a gunfight and how they end up winning. Do they go to heal? Do they attack someone in a certain situation like watch those guys that are very very good and that are doing this for a living and that's something that you can implement into your own gameplay uh, to make yourself a better player the third tip that I have for you guys is to understand the spawn points and use that mini map to understand those spawn points. So obviously the game just recently came out, so not everyone knows exactly where everybody's going to spawn. And uh, eventually we'll get to that point where where everyone knows every single spawn point. <laughs> um, but for now, we're still learning. We're still trying to learn the ropes of the game. Um, but understanding the spawn locations, I feel like I would rather say, it's not as important to know exactly where every spawn point is going to be. Most of us just play this game casually. We're not trying to be professional. Um, but understanding the spawn locations um, is something that's really going to benefit you when winning games and getting better. And I think the minimap plays a, a huge role in that, right? Like you, you take a look at the minimap, you want to pay attention to that more than, than you do. Because I feel like most of the time we're kind of just running around um, aimlessly just shooting people and not really paying attention. But if you pay attention to that minimap, you can tell where your teammates are and you can assume where the enemy team is spawning or the direction that they're going to be coming from. And it sounds, some, it sounds so basic, but it's something that's really going to help you understand where enemies are and, and give yourself an advantage, right? Like if you're not paying attention to the mini map and you're just kind of running around with, with no care in the world, there's a good chance you could get shot in the back and the side, you're going to run into somebody. But if you're paying attention to that mini map, you're understanding where your teammates are on the map. You're taking a look around. You can take that guess and kind of understand where the enemies are going to come from or where they might spawn so that you're prepared to get in that gunfight and give yourself a better chance of winning. So uh, understanding those spawn points is something that's going to make you better at each and individual, uh, each and every individual map. The fourth and final tip that I have for you guys is something that I struggle with a lot, and that's to use different weapons, try out different guns. 
Um, this is so, <laughs> I need to take my own advice with this one because most people, what happens is they play the game and they find a gun that they really, really like and they do very, very well with and they tend to stick to it. And that's just kind of natural when playing a game. Um, and in life in general, when they, when you find something that you're good at, you generally tick to, uh, tend to stick to it and not to change or stray away from what you're doing. Same thing applies to the guns in the game. You know, I found a gun that I really liked and I wanted to use it all the time. However, you don't know that you know a different gun might be even better for you so let's say for example you start using the ICR like the first gun that you get you're absolutely amazing with it you love it you have it gold you think it's the best gun in the game but there might be four or five other guns in the game that you haven't used yet that might be better and that you might do better with but you won't know because you don't want to try them out and a lot of people will give that give those guns a chance but not a big enough chance right they'll play with it for one game not use any attack uh, not use any attachments and be like this gun is awful I'm not using this ever again but you have to be willing to give those weapons a chance unlock all the attachments try out different um, uh, classes you know put on different attachments use different reticles and figure out you know what's going to work best for you with that weapon and then compare that weapon to the gun that you're used to using because you never know when you're going to find a gun that might be better than the one that you think is the best so try out different guns see what you're good with um, test the waters and uh, and you should get better and figure it out but anyway guys that's where the video i hope you guys did enjoy if you guys have any questions or any other tips to add anything to add to the tips that i gave make sure to leave it down in the comment section below make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys next yeah.